Okay, these are the notes on the enhanced greenhouse effect. Here's what happens when the greenhouse effect is enhanced by human activity. So, first of all, we have incoming solar radiation. It reaches the Earth's atmosphere and some is reflected back into space. So you see these little arrows that are bouncing? Those arrows are light bouncing off of clouds and light bouncing off of icebergs in the North Pole. Step two, the Earth heats up. Step three, heat radiates back into space. Now it radiates as infrared light instead of the visible light we see coming from the sun. Step four, some of this heat is trapped by the greenhouse gases in the atmosphere, keeping the Earth warm enough to sustain life. Step five, human activities such as burning fossil fuels, agriculture, and land clearing are increasing the amount of greenhouse gases released into the atmosphere. This is trapping extra heat, causing the Earth's temperature to rise. All right, this is the basic overview of the enhanced greenhouse effect. Okay, so step one of this was that light was coming from the sun down to the earth. So light from the sun, visible light, UV light, some infrared light, comes from the sun down to the earth. Now not all of it stays, some of it ends up bouncing back in the space off of the polar ice caps, and other, others bounce off of clouds. So now so that is step one. Solar radiation is collected by the Earth. Step two is that the Earth heats up. Now everything that is warm is giving off infrared light. So that infrared light is emitted by the Earth. It's emitted by the atmosphere. It's emitted by everything. Now, normally, that infrared light has a chance to escape into space. But because there are greenhouse gases, there's also a chance it might be reflected back down towards the Earth. And step three is going to be that infrared light, or IR light, is captured by greenhouse gases. Okay, now this is normal and this is what keeps the Earth at a, a temperature that is livable for all of us. okay, And it's good news. It's a good thing we have the greenhouse effect. However, step four, we end up humans through our emissions have made this layer of greenhouse gases thicker. And step four is humans have emitted more greenhouse gases and because we've emitted those greenhouse gases, that infrared light that may have escaped off into space before, well, more of it is being captured into the atmosphere and being bounced back. So instead of escaping into space, like it did over here, more is being kept to the Earth. So more heat is captured as a result. Just to review real quick, as we put more and more and more stuff into the air, more greenhouse gases, it's like a blanket over the, over the top of the earth, and it causes more of that radiation to stay inside of the earth system instead of being able to escape into space. Okay, so moving on to the sources of these greenhouse gases, the... Uh, the first two sources give off over half the greenhouse gases that we see total, right? And the biggest source of greenhouse gas that we have is electricity. Electricity mostly comes from fossil fuels. In fact, 70% of our electricity comes from burning fossil fuels. The next biggest category is transportation. 
Transportation includes cars, trucks, planes, trains, ships, and of all those things, 90% of the fuels in those things are, are carbon-based. So electricity is 32%, 32%, transportation is 28%, number three on this list is industry. So most of the industry waste comes from either producing energy or making different materials. Lots of energy goes into making the stuff we have and everything else. The last two are still pretty significant. First one is commercial and residential. Commercial and res residential is mostly because we have to heat our homes and we we heat our hot water a lot of the time and we heat our house with burning fossil fuels essentially. The last one with 10 percent is agriculture. Agriculture, cattle are the major emitters of these greenhouse gases. Also, the different ways we use land and manage forests will emit a lot too. These are the different ways we emit as a society.